What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is a video from Teabaggy Gibbon. It's been a bit of a while. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, um, I've been playing the shit out of Destiny and just trying to have some fun with it and just sort of getting back into gaming a little bit and sort of reconnecting with some of the guys that I used to play with on Xbox and just having some fun with it really and then the other reason is um, I've said this a couple of times but just you know, losing a bit of motivation for making YouTube videos and it's not for any particular reason it's just if I'm honest I can't really be be bothered at the moment um, and I just kind of wanted to sit down and play the game and I didn't want to put myself under any pressure to to make a video based off of some gameplay that I've been doing and all of that kind of stuff and then kind of the, the not the stresses and the pressures but the kind of what comes with that you start to think right I need to do this to get a decent gameplay to bring this so in the background what you are watching is some Trials of the Nine from Destiny 2 and I've had a little bit more time to play the game and, and just kind of get enjoyment out of it and I'm loving it. It's it's really, really good fun. Um, it has kind of reached the stage now where we kind of need to do the raid to get the next sort of armour and everything that's going on because um, there's nothing else left to do other than start new characters and I don't think I'm quite ready to do that yet. But with that being said, um, Crucible, um, I'm kind of in two minds about it. On one hand, I really enjoy the changes that they've made. Um, the fact that the 4v4 it just makes it a little bit more tactical but then with that it's kind of like a double-edged sword a little bit because it's very much sweat your bollocks off completely there's kind of no in between even on the casual playlist or the quick play playlist versus the competitive it's just sweaty as fuck there's just no two ways about it it is just the way that it is it is completely sweaty I really, really hope further down the line, and I think they probably will do, that Bungie decide to re-implement the 6v6. I think the fact that you don't get a choice of the game mode that you can play in quick play is a little bit annoying, to say the least. It would be nice to go, right, well, let's play Supremacy, or let's have a bit of a laugh with Supremacy. It's the fact that it rotates absolutely everything continuously and you don't really get the choice. And then sometimes you get stuck in this weird rut where you play like control five or six times in a row or something like that. I haven't noticed as much issues with connection as what there normally has been. It's been um, smooth running, I think is probably the right way of saying it. There is still that weird witching hour for about 15, 20 minutes, 11pm UK time, where it just kind of goes to pop. But I think that's just server stress more than anything. Um, I will say that the Nightfalls, I'm enjoying the Nightfalls as well. I think the Nightfalls are a lot of fun. I like the changes that they've made to the Nightfall. Although this week's Nightfall is just ridiculous because that guy is a bullet sponge. Doesn't matter how you look at it, he's an absolute bullet sponge. Um, not done the raid yet, like I said. I am really hoping to sit down and do that with uh, with, with my team and, and try and grind out for, for all of the full raid gear and raid weapons and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I can see myself probably playing the game for about 16 hours straight before we actually manage to get that. Um, but one of the other things that I just kind of wanted to have a quick chat about was the fact that, and it's funny, because I've kind of switched and I, I was doing a lot more PC gaming, I've gone back to console and I'm going to try and sort of marry the two a little bit more, is, I don't know what it is with console players. I was playing a game with um, with TK, a lad that I, we play quite often together in the team, our cautiously optimistic team as we're, as we're called in Destiny. And um, basically what's what happened was is we played um, a competitive Crucible game um, and we were playing 4v4. Now, I'm, I'm a casual player. I'm not a, I'm not a sweaty player. I play to enjoy. I don't play to sweat my tits off, have to drink a litre of Gatorade just to replenish fluids in my system to make sure that I don't, you know, go into some sort of weird salt deprivation, deprivation or something like that. But we played a game. We are playing competitive, and it's the one where you've got eight lives on each side. Um, and we were doing all right, I suppose, to a certain degree. But then it went down to... Uh, one of their players on the enemy team left. So it was 4v3. So you think, oh, well, this might be a bit of an easy win. We were wrong. We lost the game. No big deal. Just one of them things. It happens. It's just kind of the way that it goes. We lost 4v3. <laughs> what are you going to do? There's not a lot you can do. But then, I don't know why. And like I said, it happens with console. Both Tom and I got a message. Well, Tom got a message first. And it's that weird 
teenage tech speak that I just I really can't abide and I don't have time for um, about telling him to get good or something like that. So Tom just blocked it. Tom said to me, "What what, what should I say?" And I just said, "Just ignore the kid. It's, it's simply that's what he is. He's a kid." Um, so Tom just blocked him and just just to nip it in the bud because um, he got into a conversation with somebody once and he got banned <laughs> for calling somebody a see you next Tuesday. Um, but then he messaged me and. Again, it was text speak, and I couldn't understand it. Thanks for the block and all that that kind of stuff. So I just responded, and I should have listened to my own advice, and just went, what? And he responded back with more text speak that I just could not understand at all. And I just responded just saying, genuinely do not understand what you are saying. Um, but there's just that... I get it, you're hyped. You've won 4v3, that's cool. But do it with a little bit of class. If competitive is that important to you, and you like sweating your testicles off that much go and do it professionally but have a bit of class about yourself don't i don't i don't know am i bitching for bitching sake probably probably but if your kd is that important to you and you decide that you need to brag about your kd and how good you are i tell you what mate you virgin i'll show you what a pair of boobs look like and i can guarantee you's a virgin and you've probably never seen the outside and it's probably mummy and daddy that pay for your internet I can't stand console players sometimes because they are just immature little fucktards. <sighs> anyway, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. Just a little bit of a rant and a ramble. Do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. This has been OG Gibbon. Apologies that it's been so long since I've uploaded. I'm going to try and be a little bit more consistent in the future. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time. Peace. <laughs>